Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleforge, and welcome back to Minecraft, where we are back in our little town, and as such, we are um, having a look around, because I have been planting mushrooms! I discovered that the, um, the tiger biome, or whatever you call it, uh, if I go all the way over to my other town, then there is a place where I can go through a tiger biome, and in it is this strange floor stuff, the brown stuff. I need to uh, actually find it to remember what it's called. Let's go into our house and see, see if I've got some. Yes, I have. Podzel. There's Podzel. Now, I don't know if you have to plant these mushrooms on Podzel or if you have to plant them just on any old stuff. Uh, but what I've been doing is I have been going around and I've been planting some Podzel and I've been putting the mushrooms on top of them. Uh, and then I have been using bone meal. Now, I actually had to get some bone meal before I can do that. So what we'll do is we'll go down into my little... Um, construction down here because we found a dungeon down here uh, and if I take those out then everything will be dark and if everything's dark then you can't see anything oh, that's a bit of a problem isn't it hmm okay well maybe we'll have a little light but uh, what I've done is I've set up this area here uh, and if I go out there then the the, uh, the skeletons see me then if I go down here I can duck and I can just hit them uh, so I can bash Bash some skeletons in and get uh, get plenty of these bones. Wait a minute, there's some more. Problem is, I keep going like that. I keep ducking because uh, because it's. I feel like I have to duck. It's weird. All right, so let's get those and then ah, I need to fill this in quick because otherwise we're going to get skeletons. There we go. All right, so if we've got now loads of bones, I can make loads of bone meal. We can try and and put a few uh, put a few nice mushrooms about. Now I did, I have actually got a plan for later on with the mushrooms. I want to try and make a little uh, construction with the mushrooms because if you put these mushrooms down, I guess if you put a little ladder up the mushroom then you could put some podsel at the top of the mushroom and if you put some podsel at the top of the mushroom surely you can plant yourself a another um, another mushroom on top of already stated mushroom and make yourself a little mushroom home. That is my plan. So I do want to try and make uh, loads of little mushroom homes around the place if I can. I'm not actually putting this mushroom here because the uh, the red mushrooms I've been putting over at this side as if they grow over there and they don't grow over there. So uh, we'll just have to go and have a look what I've been doing. I've been planting these mushrooms all over the place as you can see. Uh, and I'm I'm liking the mushrooms. There's one over here. I don't. I tried to. I tried to get this to grow. Oh, there it is. It's grown. It's fine. It's fine. We just needed to put a little bit more uh, bone meal on it. Sometimes you need to put hardly any bone meal on it. Sometimes you have to put loads on it to actually get it to grow. Okay, let's have one here. So let's dump that there, and then let's dump a a mushroom on top of it. And then stand well back. And okay, so that's one, two. That we that one required two. The others have required a lot more, some of them. But I am loving these red mushrooms all over the place. They're awesome. So I'm gonna have to plant loads more red mushrooms. Anyway. That's not the only thing I've been up to. Uh I've also um been to the nether quite a lot, as you know, from the last episode. Uh but uh, since then you can see in the background that I have a little nether construction on the way. We had before a, um, a, I'd, I'd made it so that it looked as if the nether was creeping into the area. I'm going to have to... Uh, let's go into this mode so you can see as, as best as possible. Uh, and I've now built our ruins a tiny bit bigger. So, yeah, we have massive ruins over here. I'm going to go into the nether at some point, but uh, not now. Our librarian got killed. I couldn't do anything about it. He just, he just, he just disappeared. So I'm guessing that he must have been murdered at uh, at night by skeletons. I think next time what I'll do uh, is I'll put some shutters down so that I can he can only be accessed when I want to access him, and the skeletons can't see him or shoot him. I think that'll be a good a good method of doing this. So I've been grabbing bone meal, and with the bone meal you can um, you can change this back into the other into the uh, other stuff 
from the nether. And then if you plant another um, bone meal, you can cover it in stuff, which is amazing. It means that I've been able to make it look as if the as if the nether is slowly creeping into this world. And I really like that because uh, it, it just means that we will go in there at some point. But I want to show you what I've been building uh, and I've been building this over here. So let's go back into that mode because we don't need nuts. Let's get a good place that we can actually... Uh, actually, I do need that, don't I? Yeah, let's get a good place where we can actually stand and have a look at this. So let's get on to a thing and have a look, proper look. I will go over there and we can look at it in person soon, but I want to have a, a proper look at it. So this is the construction that I have made since last time, and it has involved a lot of work. You can see our original tree in the, in, in over there. Over there. Uh, and that had a little bit of uh, basalt around it and such, and that was our original construction. And since then, I've been building houses out of blackstone, uh, and I've tried to make them look a little bit like um, mausoleums, um, but uh, every single one of them, I've planted a, uh, a mushroom tree thing, one of these tree things, uh, from the nether. I've planted one uh, there every single time. Actually, it's going to go to... Um, it's going to go to evening soon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dear. Typical. Just when I'm trying to show something off, it decides to go to evening, but it's going to make a, a lovely... Um, a lovely... Um, sunset in the background for us anyway so i started with the the middle one the uh, the the tall tower uh and uh, we'll go and have a look at, at that at some point soon but i've put some blue um blue glass there so that it's uh it's 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 got something other than just plain panes of glass i didn't think the plain panes of glass would work the glass might be better um, served as uh, black glass because uh, obviously black fits the uh, the rest of the place better. Let's get it to morning because this is going to be dark and scary soon. So I'll go in here. I'll go up, up, and uh, and into our bed, and uh, and then we can. Oh, no, 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 that one. There we go. Sleep, and it'll be morning in no time. Anyway, you saw how I changed the uh, the netherite into that blue stuff. And so we have this blue stuff absolutely everywhere. This cost me a lot. A lot of bone meal. A heck of a lot of it. Oh, we've got, we've got some zombies coming. You're going to die, zombie? Get out of here. Be gone. Thank you. And where's the, where's the other one? Where are you? You're going to die before you get here? Oh, you managed to make it to a tree. Bad luck. Nah. Okay, so we've got loads of these little mushrooms. I, I didn't know, I I was wondering how you would actually get more of these mushrooms and you just plant the uh, the bone meal all over this area and you, you can get some more. Anyway, so yeah, I've planted loads of this stuff and it looks really cool. I so like this stuff. It's sort of, sort of madly fantasy type stuff. Anyway, so this is the first tower that we made uh, and it's... It's, I've been using walls to make columns, uh, and we've got columns all over the place. Uh, and as such, we can go in and we've got, to, we've, got, we've got it built nicely so that it's got the smooth stuff. And it's got the odd thing here to make it uh, accentuate little points. Uh, we've got some normal stone there. Uh, and I've just got a ladder up here. I'm planning on putting beds in this place and uh, and other things, but they will have to fit in. So I think I might go for the blue stuff, just the, the stuff that we use from the nether. And I've got a, a viewing port here where you can see out all over the land. You can't see the uh, woolen mansion from here. What's that over there? Huh. Might just be trees. Sometimes it, it, you, look, you look at things and you think, that might be something. And then you look over and you, maybe not. Maybe it's just trees. Anyway, yes. So we've got this tower here. Uh, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And, uh, and, and we've got, that's, that's the place where the mushroom bit is. So let's go back down again. And that was the first tower, which definitely needs um, loads of uh, stuff inside it to make it look better. Because at the moment, it's not fleshed out. The next one I did was this one. It was a simple little one, I thought. And I've used the um, the uh, s the walls to make little pillars again all the way around. It's not got too many windows. It's just got a few windows on it. And it's only a small place. 
which means I can stick a bed there, uh, anything I want there, uh, and that'll be that. Upstairs? Nothing yet. So, again, it's just a place for storage, I guess. I don't, I don't think they'll be putting anything else there. Uh, and then what we have after that one, I built this one over here. Uh, which again is similar to that one. It's just a little bit taller and uh, and again It's got a, a, a mushroom in the top. I don't think there's anything special it, again It's it's got a second level on it and again. It's got nothing up there. So yeah, it's, it's um, I, I like I particularly like That out of all of these constructions this one the small one decided to have the tallest of the uh, of the trees developed from it and it is Massive. Look at that. We've got a tiny tree on that one, medium tree on that one, huge tree on that one. I really, I really like that. It, that entertained me no end. Anyway, I built this one as a variant on that one over there. And this one, I put little uh, stairs coming out the top and uh, on these sides to make the roof a little bit more fancy. Uh, I've used a lot of this broken stone stuff around it instead of just using the smooth stone on everything as if it's, uh, it's maybe it's been here a little bit longer than the others. Maybe this was the first one to be set up. I don't know. Uh, I've used walls again, but this time I put them in sets. So it's actually like part of the main structure rather than being an addition to the main structure. And that means that it actually has this sort of several layers look to it. Uh, and it's not all uh, it's not all just blocks all the way around. So that's, that's quite nice. And on the inside, it gives you a, a, a bit of a different uh, feel to the inside. It's sort of a little bit more room, a little bit more uh, as if it's been uh, very carefully um, constructed and carved in a, in, in a nice way. Uh, I've not put any decorations in here again. I'll put decorations in there later. Uh, and I was busy, busy trying to uh, just make it look cool and uh, and work on the decorations another time. As for in the nether, we uh, again, I've been busy in the nether. I've had several like animals walk into the nether. I don't know why they want to walk into the nether. It's a really bad idea. Do you know how bad idea it is to be in the nether, little pig? It really is a bad idea. Anyway, if we go up here, then we can go back to the places that we've been before. And as such, I've put some little barrels in there to make some um, sort of clutter. I need to put a lot more clutter around. I don't know. I've got to think of what sort of clutter I can have around the place to make it look more fancy. Uh, and I've been working on the... Um, anyway. Go in, go in, very good. Uh, I've been working on the alchemy lab and I've put uh, just blue over the ceiling. It was uh, it was just netherite before. I put some walls in to make these posts at the uh, at the corners. So it's, it's got those posts. I've been uh, brewing more fire potions. And as such, we've got some fire potions on the wall uh, and a, uh, a lectern so that somebody can stand here and look very authoritative uh, and, uh, and give lectures on, uh, on, on making fire potions or whatever, uh, fire resist potions. And people can sit down here in the, uh, the little things to, uh, to get a lesson in there. So I thought that was a nice, an, a nice thing for the alchemy instruction room one. Uh, now we have over here a dining hall. No pets allowed because obviously it's a dining hall. Uh, now we've got a few chairs. We've got just one chair in here, uh, which will seat a, a, a number of people, which I haven't actually been able to buy, make, not buy. I haven't been able to make any tables or anything yet because I just haven't had the, uh, the ingredients. Oh, hello. You are missing a bit. I shall have to work on you. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this place will have tables in it and that will make it look far superior later on. I keep doing that. Going into the menu instead of um, instead of just pressing the open thing. Uh, I continued over there to try and uh, see if there was anything interesting out there. There wasn't really anything interesting out there, so we'll leave that. Down this corridor, as you can see, I put more of these... Um, barrels to flesh out the corridor and give it a little bit of a, 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 a look of people live here and so it's worthwhile uh, exploring uh, but this is still essentially just a long passageway to get from one place to the next so that I can go around the nether uh, we have um, these recessed as I said I would I would recess them uh, and so they're now recessed and they've got walls making this 
actually look all blocked off uh, at those um, bits and a, a nice solid construction i've still not made the ceiling we will get to the ceiling at some point i just got to get around to it and i just haven't got around to it yet so i'll just i'll try and remember the ceiling for another time here i've been developing this area here and as you can see i've put some um, nice pillars up everywhere uh, and the ceiling's been given a, a nice, um, a nice bit of uh, black stone, and the uh, and the glass, so that those blooming ghasts can't get us. I so hate the ghasts, and uh, uh, for the same reason, I put this little chute out here that goes out here, where we can get into the Nether. And there's more um, black stone and stuff over there, but I'm not going to go over there because ghasts in the way. Uh, and we've been developing over here. So we'll cross our big bridge. I might have to do something about this big bridge sometime. At the moment, it's looking very boring. So I'm going to have to do something to make it spiced up and a little bit less uh, less dull. However, down here, I have been messing with the uh, with the place of oh dear, there's a gas right there. I don't think it saw me for some reason. I've been making more paths so that I can get to other places. I'm, I've I keep destroying the wooden posts for these, but not getting rid of the stuff at the top, because I don't need the stuff at the top as much as I need the wooden posts, so no posts uh, and uh, and stuff at the top all over the place. I'm, I'm so glad that I can now farm for um, bone meal, because it really means I can grab loads of bone meal and, uh, and make as much of those things as I want. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was over here I've been constructing because this place horrendously dangerous wait a minute oh dear I've been withered okay let's get down here quickly before it gets a chance to murder me <laughs> and in here oh bother oh bother okay this is a little bit more dangerous than I thought it was <laughs> maybe I should make it two levels high instead of as high as it is okay get away from me wither go away Oh, good. It only took three shots. That's that's a nice thing. <laughs> I wonder how they deal with stairs. Can you deal with stairs okay? I need a little bit more life. Give me life. Oh, no. Don't come up here. Stay down there. Stay down there. Ah, oh, these are so blooming dangerous. Everything around here is so blooming dangerous. I spent, I, these are I don't like at all. These little... These are like the worst of the things. Because they break up into tons of little small things, and it takes me ages to kill all of them. Yeah, go away. Although they do give me the magma creams, which are incredibly important to my survival. In here, oh dear! Wow, there's loads of them. Ah, I should not have done this. <laughs> Although I'm sure it's getting me loads of experience. I really should not have done this. Wow, there's loads. Get away from me. Just be gone, all of you. Are, you. are you done? No, there's still more. Loads of experience. Wonderful. Survival is incredibly difficult in the Nether. It really is. Uh, and this is just, just more proof of that. Okay. Let's get some life there. There's one of those over there. I could cook that. Definitely. Cooked, cooked pork. Yes. Let's just give me, give me cooked pork. Cook pork, go on. Nah. I can easily um, get my bow replaced, so it's, it's actually quite handy. Oh yeah, I've, I've dug holes in this area so that I can get around. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I want to get back to the base because in the base I've been building more again. Which is to say, I've been... Oh, withered again! Ah! Come on, then. I will get you, wither. I really will. Yeah. And again. Done for. See? That's what you get for messing. Right. Okay. I still need more life, though. <laughs> oh, no! Um, excuse me. Don't you dare fire flames at me. Hmm. I like the open ceiling approach with the little posts. I thought that was good. And I was, I'm was i so pleased that this was all so close together that I could actually uh, get around it really easily. Okay, he's gone down there, so we can we can ignore him. And go back. Back to our base. Get out of here. Horrible flaming death. 
I need to actually take some of my fire resist potions, but I'm saving them for uh, for. I want to make a construction in the lava, uh, and in the lava is obviously the most dangerous place to be building. But if I could build a under lava base, then that would be pretty fun, wouldn't it? I mean, you can have um, bases in the uh, in the water. Ooh, I escaped, good. Uh, but uh, it, under the lava seems like a, a wonderful place to have a base that will be exciting and yet excessively dangerous uh, and uh, and fun all around. So yeah, and, and well lit, I would imagine. Because obviously, if you're surrounded by lava, then surely it's going to be well well lit. Hello there. Hi. Uh, we'll get back over there. I'll see you over there because it's quite a long distance down here. I wouldn't mind actually moving some of the other area of the nether into this area or trying to make some of the nice mushroom things just appear in this area, see if they grow here as well. That would be awesome. However, what we've been doing is we've been working on our little shoot with the, uh, with the, um, with the lava underneath. So before, there was just a little bit of a, a run down here, and I got all the way down to the bottom. You can see all the way down to the bottom there, where I've got a, a little base, a run over the lava, and then a, a little exit so that uh, if ghasts shoot me, they don't get to shoot me in a place that's really dangerous. They can only shoot me uh, at that and not break all of that glass, because I don't want them breaking the glass. That's my main issue with ghasts breaking the glass which I then have to replace I mean we've got plenty of glass somewhere but uh, it's so irritating having to replace all the glass anyhow the ghast is going that way and so as you can see we are able to cross this lava and it took me ages to build this thing just due to the fact that every single time I went there there was ghasts and they were just uh, blasting me around the place okay so that one's going to disappear I think it's a good distance away. And I've been making little paths. As you can see, there's a path there. Uh, and a, a path over here. If you build these things everywhere in the nether, then uh, then every time you've got a, a strong point that you can actually go back to and you don't have to worry that when the gas shoot you, they're going to blast away all of the path. Because this stuff is resilient. Now, where are we going? We're going this way. Which is where I've been mining my blackstone. This is great. I so love these areas with all of the thing. The only thing I don't like is those, as you know from the my experience in the uh, the other bit of the Nether. Those things are horrendous, uh, and uh, as such, get right in the way with my mining the blackstone. But these places are brilliant because if you've got a couple of these buckets then you can actually get yourself loads of lava here for... Um, I mean, you could use this lava, but really you don't want to interfere with the sea of lava, because if you interfere with the sea of lava, then obviously that's going to start looking a bit weird, and you don't want your sea of lava to look weird. Uh, so what I do is I get buckets of lava from those little areas where they've just stored one bit of lava in a, uh, in a crevice in the ground, uh, and then I can take that back to uh, my main base and do loads of smelting of all of the various things that I've been smelting to uh, to get these bases, this base set up, uh, which is pretty cool. So I've been making a lot of, um, I don't know if I've got any on the go. Oh, hello, I've been making some cooked meat. That's lovely. I think I've been doing some beef up here. Oh, I didn't, no. I should have picked up some blooming lava. I had the opportunity, anyway. So that's what I've been up to in the last little while. I've still never been over there, but that's that's again another blackstone harvesting place. So that's that I might build some stuff over there because it's actually quite a cool little shelf that's all flat and ready for, for building on. So I might do that at some stage. It's quite cool. However, I am all out of time and I shall have to come back to this in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.